Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is a quick update over at the situation around Soledad. So you know, Soledad is this uh, bra shape uh, looking town. Um, okay, maybe nah, maybe like this, you no. Know? And um and uh, fighting is going all around Soledad. You no, know, ever since the Russians uh, took Soledad, they have been you no know, spreading out uh, all over uh, in this way. So so we're going to cover you know, some of this uh, latest development and uh, most I will start off with the most uh, exciting one uh, for the pro-Russian side. Uh, we finally have some updates about this uh, situation uh, over here on the western part of North or northwestern part of um, Paraskovievka or on the western part of Blahodatne. Previously, we have reported that the Russian forces have fought out from Blahodatne and they have arrived at this, uh, this Ukrainian uh, highway. Uh, towards Slovians and the Russian forces in the latest report from uh, I believe Raiba is now reported to be fighting northwest northwest of Berkivka. So the Berkivka is actually you no know, there's this settlement here. Uh, this is Berkivka and the Russian forces is now fighting on the oh wrong color uh, on the northwest uh, outskirt of this uh, town. And this town is actually uh, very important because uh, this town actually controls uh this road although the russians have already took uh took this uh highway uh this highway junction uh north of bakhmut city to this highway uh just south of paraskovievka uh, but this actually protects the northern um the northern northern region of bakhmut as uh particularly and uh south of it is uh Yakine. And uh, the Kidney is actually you know, on the other side of Bakhmut because this is Bakhmut. Bakhmut is this region here and the Russians have already you know, uh, attacked into Bakhmut in the northern north northern part but on the western part of this highway. So we, if the Russians are able to penetrate through uh, this region, they can actually you know, threaten the rear. According to the Raiba, they say that uh, this uh, this town here at Berkivka actually have a retreat route. Uh, there's a there's another another resupply route that are going through uh, this region here, uh, which is why you know Berkivka seems to be really important according to Raiba, and uh, the Russian forces currently you know is kind of uh, seem to be holding up again along this region here, um, and they might be trying to push through. Uh, this region which I think the Ukrainians are holding some kind of very strong defense in the forest line uh, because we didn't really see much of a breakthrough anymore uh, the Russian seems to be you no know, trying to hold the road uh, largely and uh, they are pushing only towards Bokivka uh, towards Blahodane they are also pushing towards this direction oh my god I keep using the wrong color uh, this direction um, and uh, fighting is reported west of Blahodane so this is the Berkivka situation and around uh, Krasnohora we previous uh, in our previous report uh, Russian forces have captured uh, Krasnohora uh, after the push from the north from Blahodatne breaking the back of the Ukrainian defenders around uh, the western uh, flank of Kras uh, Krasnohora. So the Russians continue to attack uh, Paraskovievka. The Ukrainians are still holding on. Uh, the Russians are attacking from three different sides north, east and south. So the Ukrainians are still holding the defense uh, around here, but this is threatening because uh, this attack at Berkivka can anytime swing in uh, to the rear of Paraskovievka and link up with the forces that had uh, taken the junction over here. So uh, this Ukrainian force can get encircled. And uh, every time this kind of situation or this kind of shape uh, happen, uh, it, it would mean that the the Ukrainian might Ukrainian forces might have to consider a redrawal to protect their troops, or they might just get entirely wiped out, uh, which is not very wise. Uh, holding every inch of ground is never a good idea uh, in modern warfare because you're just sitting duck for artillery and airstrikes. Um, in the northern part, uh, from Bahodane situation, uh, the latest is that uh, there is there used to be this entrenchment uh, over here. Um, this entrenchment over here. This entrenchment uh, seems to be have uh, overrun by the Russian forces. Uh, 
because in Riber's map, uh, they kind of just put this as entirely like really red, like it's like it's fully Russian controlled. So which means there's a high chance that this uh this entrenchment is now fully overtaken and the Russians are now pushing towards the river. There's this river here. Uh, they're pushing towards the river and probably they will be able to cross it and actually you know swing northward take the forest line and take this forest line and attack from the south towards uh, Vesukivka and uh, this will actually you know put a lot of pressure uh, on on the Russians uh, on the Ukrainian defenders in this region here so let me oops photoshop hang so um so the Ukrainians are currently you know defending along this area with the russians are currently trying uh trying to push um towards vasilkivka they are attacking towards vasilkivka and uh this this potential uh flanking movement from the south is going to you know uh give the ukrainians uh some big headache and uh because the russians if the ukrainians do not hold any defense line around here the russians could actually you know choose exactly where to hit the road they can choose here or here or here and either way or any way uh as long as the road is being cut uh, the reinforcement will stop and uh, it's very impractical for the ukrainian to actually reinforce from this direction so um so the this is going to be a huge concern for the ukrainian forces i believe the ukrainians are actually fighting around this area here uh, they are definitely fighting around this area here um but whether do they have enough forces around here to hold a defense is rather unclear uh north of that uh, the russians are still trying to attack uh fedorivka the ukrainians are still holding uh, a good defense around here they're attacking uh, rosdolivka in the in between uh, vesele and rosdolivka as well so uh currently it looks like this and uh the ukrainian forces uh are holding uh, pretty well uh, in this northern area here in, in this region here and um yeah it, it did not break through the way how i imagined it would be so you no know, you good job by the ukrainian forces uh but the situation is still really dire and uh anyway this is just a quick update i uh, hope this uh this helps to you know understand what is, what is happening around this region and i'll see you uh yeah, do, do remember to press the like and subscribe button if you are new to this channel and do check out all the other uh, information and the zip wraps. And I'll see you in the next update.